We are given OP is equal to this and we are given OQ is equal to this. And we are told that we should be considering OP dot OQ. And if you think about it, OP dot OQ is going to be P1 times Q1 plus P2 times Q2 plus P3 times Q3, which is actually this expression over here. And if I were to just write down the other side of the dot product equation, it is going to be modulus of OP, which is square root of P1 squared plus P2 squared plus P3 squared. And then we have a modulus of OQ, which is going to be square root of this. So we are definitely on the right track. We just need to add in a cosine of angle POQ, which is the angle that is between OP and OQ. So from this equation, let's try to find a way to form some kind of inequality. And to do that, I'm going to work on cosine of an angle because in general, cosine of an angle is between minus 1 and 1, which means that if I can just make cosine angle POQ the subject, this is OP dot OQ divided by modulus of OP modulus of OQ, then I'll know that since cosine of an angle is between minus 1 and 1, that means this OP dot OQ divided by modulus of OP modulus of OQ should also be between minus 1 and 1. And now what we have just discussed in the numerator here, it is going to be P1 Q1 plus P2 Q2 plus P3 Q3. And as for the denominator, we will have a square root of P1 square plus P2 square plus P3 square. This is modulus of OP. And this is going to be equal to Q1 square plus Q2 square plus Q3 square. This is less than or equal to 1. So the situation that we have here is something that is like us having a x to be between minus 1 and 1, which we can also write it as modulus of x is less than or equal to 1, which means that x square is going to be less than or equal to 1. So this will become p1 q1 plus p2 q2 plus p3 q3 square divided by the square of the denominator which is going to be p1 square plus p2 square plus p3 square multiply by q1 square plus q2 square plus q3 square and this is going to be less than or equal to 1 and this denominator here is a positive expression so i can multiply it across to the other side and that will give me a p1 q1 plus p2 q2 plus p3 q3 square is less than or equal to p1 square plus p2 square plus p3 square multiplied by q1 square plus q2 square plus q3 square and this is what we are supposed to show According to what the question says, this line ON is going to be bisecting X, Y, which means that this is going to be a proportion 1 is to 1. And since we know this vector, it is given to me as 2 over 3A. And we know this vector O, Y is given to me as 3 over 4B. We're going to make use of the ratio theorem to find OM. So OM is going to be equal to 1 times ox which is going to be 2 over 3a plus 1 times 3 over 4b this is oy divided by ratio theorem 1 plus 1 so we will have a 1 over 3a plus 3 over 8b and you know, for me to find the ratio of a n is to n b, I'm going to try to attempt to find the position vector of n, which is o n. To do that, I'm going to form the equation of a line that passes through a b. Then I'm going to form the equation of the line that passes through o m n. And I'm going to find the intersection between the two lines because that will actually give us the position vector of n. So for the line that passes through a b, it is going to be perpendicular. It's going to be parallel to 
a b which is b minus a which means that the line that passes through a b is going to be of a form r is equal to i can either take the position vector of a or position vector of b i'm going to go for a so a plus lambda of the direction that is parallel to a b which is a b b minus a and for the line that passes through o m n i'm going to call it o m this is going to be r is equal to since it passes through the origin it is going to be a zero vector here plus mu of a direction and that direction i'm going to go for om as the direction and from the previous part we can see that this is 1 over 3 a plus 3 over 8 b so the equation of the line that passes through om will be mu of 1 over 3 a plus 3 over 8 b and at the point n at the point n, this line and this line are going to intersect. That means they're going to be sharing the same r. So I'm going to equate a plus lambda b minus a. This form here is to, going to be equated to this, which is mu of 1 over 3a plus 3 over 8b. I'm going to do some rearrangement here. So I'm going to group all the vector a's together, which is a 1 plus 1 minus 1 minus lambda of a plus lambda of b and this is equal to 1 over 3 mu of a plus 3 over 8 mu of b and now we can try to match the coefficient of the same vectors on the left and right hand side since vector a and b are non-parallel and non-zero according to the diagram that is given to us so 1 minus lambda this is going to be matched to the coefficient of a on the right hand side 1 over 3 mu. So from here, we will have our first equation, 3 lambda plus mu, this is equal to 3. And for b, lambda is equal to 3 over 8 mu. So we will have a 8 lambda minus 3 mu, this is equal to 0. This is going to be my second equation. We have two linear equations to solve for two unknowns. So I can just simply press this into the calculator from the calculator, I'm going to get lambda to be equal to 9 over 17. And mu is going to be equal to 24 over 17. And this will help me to find on. Because on is just going to be when mu is replaced by 24 over 17. So we have a 24 over 17 of 1 over 3a plus 3 over 8b. And let me do a little bit of manipulation to this. This is 24 over 17 of 8a plus 9b divided by 24. If I were to group this into one single expression like this. So 24, 24 can be cancelled. And I'm actually going to be having this 8a plus 9b divided by 17. I don't know whether you can see this, but if you could, if you could just take a closer look, what we are looking at is 8 times of a, which is vector OA, plus 9 times of b, which is vector OB, and this is going to be divided by 17, and 17 happens to be 8 plus 9. So we are looking at a ratio theorem here, right? We are looking at a ratio theorem here about ON, which is in between OA and OB, so if it is 8 OA, that means the proportion of this is 8. Then 9 OB, the proportion of this is 9. Then divided by the sum of the proportions, 8 plus 9. So by referencing this back to the idea of ratio theorem, we can already see from our diagram here, what is the ratio of AN is to NB? It is equal to 9 is to 8.